everybody. How are you doing? Look where we are. Woohoo! There's Sophie. Welcome to part nine, I believe, of my London life. We are in Portobello today and today is one of the first days where you can actually see a friend outside. I have chosen Sophie <laughs> and we're walking around Portobello today. I'll show you a little bit of what we get up to. Okay guys, so here we are. I have the first little um, exciting um, stop on our tour of Notting Hill for you. This is the travel bookshop, aka a gift shop, <laughs> on uh, Portobello Road and it is the original place where they filmed Notting Hill and where the travel bookshop from the movie obviously was set. So here we go. very famous cinema I believe it's one of the most famous cinemas in London in fact because inside you have sofas and sofa beds to watch the movie it's just super super cool obviously at the moment not open but uh, when things reopen I'll take you there Here we are, stop number three. What a backdrop. I think, uh, actually, can, can you see it? Yes, you can. So this is one of London's most famous roads, if not the most famous road in London, acclaimed by me. <laughs> it's called Lancaster Road and it is incredibly colorful. Definitely one of the most colorful places in London and I love it. How is that for a bit of a different perspective? Uh, it's for a change, not Victoria Park. <laughs> <laughs> so Sophie who is over there educating herself on Kensington Palace <laughs> uh, and I we've come to Kensington Palace Gardens Kensington Palace is over there um, but you cannot go inside at the moment it's still very very beautiful because it's sunny and uh, there she is Queen Victoria over there <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying seeing a bit of a different park, seeing a different person other than Gert, you know, it feels quite nice. <laughs> Hello everybody and happy Sunday. Today is a day later than uh, from when I went out with Sophie, I think, yes. <laughs> and as you can see, I am back in my kitchen. My light is out, which means only one thing. We are shooting another travel from home campaign because it's not quite time to travel yet. Let me show you the table. Can you guess where we're going? <laughs> so I'm working together with the Irish Tourism Board, uh, as I'm sure you can tell, for St. Patrick's Day at Home, which is a campaign that they're running. I'm also making Irish stew here behind me, and I've got some soda bread as well, which I also made. So yeah, I'm gonna shoot the picture now. Very, very excited. As usual, it will be on my Instagram very soon. I will show you the table when it's finished, when it's proper decorated. Okay, here I am again, just like magic, everything is done, so let me show you the table. Basically, what we have here on the left are some Guinness uh, caramels, I think. So they came in the parcel, actually, let me see. So they are not, they're not, um, no, they are. They're Guinness Luxury Sea Salt Caramel Fudge. So something very, very tasty. I currently have my uh, aligners in, so I can't taste them, but I will taste them later. Gert just said everything tastes nice. And then we have some Irish oat cakes. We have my homemade stew, which looks more soupy. Um, but because it's a vegetarian stew, probably looks slightly different to the traditional one. Um, uh, Gert says it does taste very nice nonetheless. Then we have the homemade soda bread. So they, um, the Irish and of her. So the Irish Tourism Board sent me a parcel, obviously to prepare for St. Patrick's Day at home, um, and it had this in. So it's a bake your own soda bread, uh, Irish soda bread at home, um, and it was super easy and it's so fluffy and it smells so nice. So I've tried to taste this earlier with my coffee and it's so so good. Um, and then obviously we have Guinness. <laughs> so I'm really happy actually. This one has a um, little engraving on there. So it says Happy St. Patrick's Day 2021. Um, 2021 St. Patrick's Day is a day a lot of people won't forget because we still can't go out. So I feel quite um, emotionally connected in a way that in a few years, you know, when I have friends around and we'll all have a glass of beer at home or whatever, pint of Guinness, and I'll say, oh, I have this glass. Remember when lockdown was, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I think that's quite nice. And obviously, yeah, we've got the candle that says, um, actually, what does it say? 
it says fill your heart with island which i think is super cute as usual my mess um has still happened yeah so the whole kitchen is completely messy and i only have 20 minutes until i have to go and see antonia so i will have to clean up everything later i'll start now and then i'll see you again when i'm on the bike also hey <laughs> they also sent me this and I'm obviously wearing it in the photo. If you're watching this video when the photo is already live, comment below and let me know what you think. Hello, it's me from my editing suite. I have just finished editing the scene from the Guinness um, photo shoot that you have seen and I realized that I said I'm gonna go on a bike ride but never actually filmed anything. <laughs> So I went on a bike ride to see Antonia and it was really, really wonderful and we hadn't seen each other in a very long time. And as you know what happens when that, you know, when social life happens, you don't film because you're so excited to see each other. And it was raining the entire time. We were in Hyde Park walking around and it was completely raining. So yeah, I did not film anything. I'm going to finish the video here. I hope you enjoyed our little trip to Portobello. I thought it was quite beautiful. Um, and I will see you next week with a cool vlog which is different from this so you know travel vlogs are coming back and i am so excited to share this with you thank you very much for watching